Do you know the sense of a great tournament? If you have a great tournament hosted by somebody who fucked up a pretty big tournament in the past. Perfect World Entertainment and QTV, everybody. We have a few problems again with the Shanghai Major. Let's start with the very not worth things, not the main topic of this discussion. And we go on to what I want to talk about pretty soon, but let's start. First of all, the production value, right? Is be not very good. We have technical difficulties. We have uncommunicated uh, states, such as players between uh, this game and this game having a lunch break, which we don't know about. Uh, the English casting team does not get uh, the, the green card to do whatever they want to entertain us. Meanwhile, we have a lot of breaks for no reason. We have repeating music on stream. Really great. Um, we have lags. We have stream freezes. We have absolute, absolute horrible, horrible, horrible production value on so many levels. And this is a rant. I wanted to go good on in games news today, but this is a rant. However, um, I know for a fact that the Russian stream does this really well because the Russian stream actually kind of there is allowed to do what they want because they have no Chinese fishing around in the game in their in their stream play. You can say uh, here we have a problem. <laughs> I could have forgiven any of that, really. Uh, and th that comes with my full heart. What I'm gonna say right now comes from my full heart. I'm the kind of guy that is easily set aside, so I could have forgiven any of that. I could have forgiven every single problem the Shanghai Major had. You know this feeling if you just go to bed and you wake up and there's a huge shitstorm, and the one reason why you keep on going is away? I was written by somebody, I wasn't even understanding what is his problem, he was telling me the Valve just fucked up big time, and after going in this, I agree. You know what happens? James Too Good Harding has been fired from the Shanghai Major. After day one. I would love to, yeah. But I'm gonna try to keep it calm, and I'm just gonna ask a very, very distinct question here. What the fuck are you doing? Perfect World, Key TV or Valve, whoever is responsible? Which nobody knows at this point, so we gotta wait for the official statement by James Too Good Harding later this day. What the hell are you doing? Who had the final word on firing that guy? Do you know what you just did? Do you know who you just fired? You fired the one host. The one English host that made people who don't play the game anymore come back to watch him. You fired that one host that made people that never played Dota before play Dota. You fired the one host that made people who don't watch Dota watch Dota. I'm not going to say anything about the other hosts. We are very great hosts. I love my hosts, really. I love every single one of them. I'm such a huge fanboy. It's so fun to watch them. But firing James Stewart Harding is a level of idiocy I have not seen before. What the hell are you doing? This tournament already was off to a really bad start, really. With all the productions problems we had, with all the like technical problems we had, with all the miscommunications we had, and with the same guys that fucked up Nyang Yang not too long ago, and now you do this. Whoever did this, you are completely and utterly delusional. This is gonna have a long-term effect on our scene. This is supposed to be our major, a $3 million tournament. This is the one thing, the one tournament that other games are looking up to. This is the one tournament that beats every single other tournament in every single other game. And this isn't even the international. Actually, I'm glad the international is in Seattle, because if this would be the international, I would go cry in a corner right now. If you know, if you know how to fuck up a game and the scene, you just did it. Amazing. The whole Reddit is full of shitposts. The whole first page of Dota Reddit is full of agreeing with each other how bad the situation has gotten. It's so bad, they've created a mega thread where most of the threads are inside and the first page is still full of complaints. Wow. H have you... Have you for one second considered the effect of what you're doing on the scene? Chances are James not going to ever watch this, but I really hope he does, because James is by far my favorite English host, and my power to him. I'm going to wa stop watching this goddamn major, till at least there's light on the situation. No, actually, as a matter of fact, he was the only thing that kept me going through this major, which had a horrible team. I'm going to sign this petition that's going around that makes Perfect World hopefully never host a Dota major event again, because I don't want this to happen ever again. This is a disaster. It is goddamn dreadful. Who the fuck thought of that? Do you realize now why there's not going to be a good morning game news? Because I'm not in a good mood. It's not a good morning. I woke up and I came into a fucking shitstorm. My, my, my skin was full with shit. 
Let, let's look at the what let's look at look at the Reddit front page itself. I kind of give you a few pictures. Let, let's look at all the fun things we have, right? Let's let's look at all the fun things we have. Dota 2. What what do we have? The first upvoted thread, so upvoted up the ass. I've never seen an upvoted thread like this. Bring two good back. So, second one, uh, James removed from Shanghai Major question mark. Third one, James Harding, mega threat. Fourth one, this production value is unacceptable. Fifth one, this major really fits the stereotype of made in China, and I agree. Six, Dota Major and it's fine. Seven, Bulldog cares. Yes, this Bulldog tweet, uh, tweet, I'm gonna let it slide in. Like, what the hell is going on? The eight post on the front pages, oh, you guys wanna hear a gold prediction? That was a good move, that was fun. That was actually very fun. But everything else but that is absolutely shit. Everything's fucked up. You just did it. <laughs> wow. Um, will this have long-term effect on Dota? Without a doubt, it will have long-term effect on Dota, man. This, this is, this is the apex of Dota. This crowns a world champion. This tournament right here is not just some way of saying, "Oh, this team could be world champion. This team could be a winning international." No, people that win this tournament are legit world champions till the next major come around. And the next major is the Manila, Manila major in three months from or four months from now. And then we have, of course, the international between that. This tournament is really important, and you fucked it really, really up, big, like, really, really big, and you lost another viewer because I'm not gonna watch it anymore. Everything that pissed me off so far was kind of mitigated by the fact that we had amazing house. We still have amazing house, don't get me wrong, um, but without too good, it, it's not really good. And I'm so sorry for this pun. I'm a little bit frustrated. Well, why? Perfect world, why? This could have been your chance to re re revitalize China in Dota. Dota, uh, China and Dota used to be what Korea is to StarCraft. And you fucked up! That's all I'm gonna say about it. The there's, like, this backlash is, like... That's all you need to know. I mean, like, there's nothing else. As always, my name is Aftermath. Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry for getting a little bit loud, but this is major shit. See you guys next time. And I'm not even gonna ask for subscribe. If you wanna subscribe, go ahead. I'm gonna ask for it. Do me a favor and sign that goddamn pay, uh, perfect world never being allowed to host a fucking long, large tournament again petition, please. This is the second out of the second. This is a 100% failure quote. Wow. Goodbye.